So, as you all know, I'm actually pretty excited for COD Advanced Warfare. What with the epic levels of action and Sledgehammer's utterly hilarious on-stage banter, the reveal was going brilliantly. And then this happened. Anyone who pre-orders the game, or for anyone who's pre-ordered the game already, for the first time in Call of Duty history, we're offering 24-hour early access with the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Day Zero Edition. No! God, please, no! 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 Really? I mean, I know you're as desperate as ever for us to blindly throw money at your Call of Duty cash cow, but this is just tragic. Much as I'd love to just rant about Activision for the next few minutes, this pathetic ploy is actually just a symptom of a wider issue. It seems to me that a cocktail of pre-order incentives, exclusivity deals, marketing hype and microtransactions is starting to ruin the games we know and love, and it's not one of those nice, brightly coloured cocktails with umbrellas and shit in. It's a stomach-churning, dirty pint of misery and despair. You see, not so long ago, gamers would decide which games to buy based on whether they were actually good, polished, and fun to play, and developers would make their money by delivering a product which satisfied those demands. But those days are long gone. Consumers seem to be increasingly willing to part with their hard-earned cash for ultimately pointless bonus content, or in the case of pre-orders, throw down their dollars for a product they haven't even fully seen yet. Developers and publishers are learning a lesson that's going to be devastating to the industry in the long run. It's easier to market the crap out of your game and wave shiny extras under the nose of fans than to actually invest time into making a quality product. Pre-order figures are often wrongly used to measure a game's success when all it really demonstrates is either a very successful marketing campaign or a large established fan base that are unfortunately willing to get screwed by your dying franchise. And like I said, this doesn't just apply to Activision and Call of Duty. Far Cry 4 was in the top sellers section of Steam the other day, purely off pre-purchase sales even though it's not out until November. The worst part of all of this is that, for now at least, it works perfectly. I'm firmly opposed to the idea of pre-ordering and validating a game which might well turn out to be BF4, but as a huge fan of the previous game, why wouldn't I want bonus missions in Far Cry 4? Why wouldn't I want a chance to get ahead on Advanced Warfare? It's tough, but this will only get worse unless gamers as a whole decide that they're fed up of being screwed. As consumers we have to vote with our wallets and choose quality games over meaningless crap. Don't fall into the trap of pre-ordering the Day Zero limited Fuck Me In The Arse fanboy edition, and please, for the love of God, don't buy the cringeworthy celebrity voiceover pack that's inevitably coming further down the road. Bye!